Hey, good evening, everyone. It's about uh, 7.23 Pacific Standard Time, and this is the Whoop Diddy coming to you live from Southern California on the All Dog Network, the worldwide All Dog Network, alldognetwork.com, brought to you by the Whoop Driver and his four-pack of lovely Huskies. That's who we are. The, and this is the Whoop Diddy Show, and primarily what we do here tonight is do we... We have uh, a breed night. We do different talk about different dog breed almost every night. Uh, every night, matter of fact, seven nights a week, seven days a week. And tonight we have an uh, Akita, Akita, and uh, we're talking about the American Akita dog. And there's also a Japanese Akita dog, which we'll kind of tell about the different of the origin of those. And uh, just so you know what this Akita looks like, got that fancy tail that comes up and wraps around the back bushy and we'll show you more pictures of the Akita shortly but we're just jumping and jamming here with this little ditty here I wrote instrumental guitar thing called jumping and jamming to get us warmed up and get everybody on board um, gonna wait till we see some people logging in here to tell you about the shirts the t-shirts this shirt uh, we've got we're making progress each day on getting a handle on being able to market these things um, I'm waiting on the wolf driver to give me the e-commerce link in order to uh, order and uh, pay for these things when it comes about which will be soon and uh, Debbie's there how you doing good evening I thought I'd be seeing you appreciate it um, I'll wait a few minutes to talk about it. Rebecca Sue is there. Good evening. The Akita dog tonight is our breed of the night. And we got us another special uh, a wolf driver video about going out and having fun. Showing him on his scooter with the dogs and things like this. Um, and we're going to be talking about that. And the shirts. And how we've uh, come to a conclusion of maybe what to do about the shirts. Marie, hello, good to see you. Um, so we'll get started here in just a minute talking about the Akita dog, Akita, which is this guy here. Hello, Delaney. Hi from Texas. That's an Akita. A little chow looking, a little almost a little husky looking. Uh, at the same time, uh, my, very much chow looking. You know, all these guys, you know, from the old days where they were bred, had to come from some kind of breeding. And uh, most people would think, oh, he's doing a chow chow tonight again. But no, this is an Akita dog. And he looks very similar in that regard. He may be a little taller, perhaps. Look at this guy. Beautiful markings and that tail is special they go wrap around tail that wraps over their back we got the uh ditty about al the akita al the akita dog a little funny ditty tonight we did today and got that ready for you so here we are it's uh, a beautiful wednesday night it's still a little warm around the country yeah they're very sweet they are just lovely <laughs> I mean, most of these breeds were finding just the magnificent markings and colors and stature and, and intelligence. You could just tell. Marie. Hello, Marie. Beautiful dogs. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to get started talking about these guys. And um, start out with kind of talking about there are actually two types of Akitas. The original Japanese breed, which is an Akita Inu, uh, and now a separate designation for American Standard Akitas. Uh, the weights and sizes are different, and the American Standard allows a black mask. So I'm thinking that this one here would be considered an American Akita because of the black mask. And that comes in the breeding of way back. Whereas the original Japanese breed standard does not allow for a black mask. And that's according to the uh, 
those clubs, you know. In many countries around the world, the American Akita is considered a separate breed from the Akita Inu. So they put Inu on there to tell you that it's Japanese Akita. In the United States and Canada, both the American Akita and the Akita Inu are considered a single breed uh, with differences in rather in type rather than in two separate breeds. So Sharon says beautiful. Yeah, they are. Um, it's kind of interesting how, you know, these cl clubs, American Kennel Club, whatever the case, they all have their little uh, designation and rules of the, of the sorts. Okay, I, I have, Charity says, I've had one. She was a St. Bernard Nakita. Interesting, interesting. So it's, that's probably a hybrid. You know, we haven't gotten into all the hybrid dogs yet. We're kind of still on the pure breeds, and we'll eventually have to get into the hybrids and run out of pure breeds, and we'll talk about those, you know, combinations. And, of course, when we do, we'll probably have to spend a little less time, although we'll have to go back and review the temperaments and traits and origins and things like that of each of the breeds that are bred together as a hybrid, so to speak, and uh, recognize what those temperaments were. And now they're together, so you got these combination of traits and stuff, and it makes it even more deeply interesting, I think, to see um, different in character that way. So there's even a lot more to come from the Woof Diddy All Dog Network. Um, so uh like yours you said nakita and the other names for this american akita and american hakita ha with a h so you got nakitas hakitas akitas interesting um here's the preferred pronunciation in the west for the uh japanese akita in you akita in you Akita in you. In you. In me, in you. Akita in you. Okay, so we get that. Um, so I'm going to play the ditty for you in just a minute, but uh, they do have a thick and muscular neck and comparatively short, widening gradually toward the shoulders. Um, longer than high is about 10, 10 inches to nine inches in males and 11 to nine inches in females. Um, the chest is wide, deep, reaching down to the elbow. The depth of the body at the elbow equals half the height of the dog at the withers. The ribs are sprung. Brisket is well-developed. Uh, level back with firmly muscled loin and moderate tuck-up. Not sure what tuck-up is. See, I'm not a breeder, so I don't know. Some of these terms I'm not familiar with. Forgive me. Um, the tail, large and full. You'll hear that in a ditty. They're double coated. Undercoat is thick, soft, dense, and shorter than the outer coat. And again, uh, outer coat is straight, harsh, and standing somewhat off the body. Let's look at a few more of these guys here. Again, a lot of chow look in there. That nice, fluffy, looks like a really dense coat. A white one. Akita. You know, we see this dog walking down the street, you think, oh, well, I don't know what an Akita is, but I do know what a Chow is. I'm thinking, is that a Chow? Again, oh, look at these little Akita puppies. How cute are they? So we'll play a little ditty about Al. Al, the Akita. Al, the Akita. But in balance with his body and free wrinkles when he is at ease. His head forms a blunt triangle when viewed from above. It's a narrow or snipe head, and his muzzle is broad. That's Al the Akita, the American Akita. I lose the Japanese Lucio. Akita. He knew as well. His tail is large and Set high and carry it over his back. He might have to look up toward the sky. May have to look twice in his rearview mirror to see the rest of his pack as he's running after the deer. Al the Akita, Al the Akita. His color is brindle, has markings well balanced with a width out of mass. Just he's brisk with power and can hunt at any hour. 
That's right. He's a sweet dog. And so really the most recognizable trait I see is that tail. That bushy tail that curls around over their back. It's thick. Very interesting. I don't know that chows have tails quite like that. So that could be the big difference that you see there. Deborah Trainer, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Sharon Lisa is their beautiful dogs. Lucios is their beautiful dogs. They are beautiful dogs. Beautiful. So there we go with the uh, Akita. Um, they're sweet, intelligent, courageous, and fearless, basically careful and affectionate with its family, and sometimes very spontaneous. So it needs firm and confident, consistent pack leader. Without it, the dog can be very willful, may become very aggressive to other dogs and animals, and which is the case in most breeds that we found as we go along here, breed after breed. It needs firm training as a puppy. Well, of course. You know, and uh, speaking of that, you know, when we first got Buster, he was 10 weeks old, rescue, and he's half Cane Corso and half Shepherd. A lot of you have seen him already. But he, uh, we took him to training, eh, a couple of months maybe, if not more. And then we kind of laid off only because uh, the trainer, he got a little funny, but uh, we stopped. And so it wasn't as firm training as I would have liked for um, for a puppy, you know, and I should have stuck with it. So we're back to training, which is um, interesting because he does really well with remembering most all the commands and stuff. And, you know, he was taught to you do this first and you give the command, listen. So he's looking at you sit, listen, lay down, listen, come, listen, stay. I've got him to where, you know, listen, sit, stay, wait, and I'll go open the door and I'll go, okay, and then he can run out. So he's got that down again. Now he learned that when he was little, but that was like five years ago. So I had to kind of review him on it. The first couple of times, he just wouldn't do it. He's stubborn, looking around. He wouldn't sit right away. Like, what are you making me sit for? I want to go out and look and see who's outside. So it took a while, but I keep doing it. Now I do it every time. You know, if he goes, starts doing his little, <laughs> there's somebody outside and run to the door. I go, no, no, get back here. You know, it's just like, you know, back by the table, dining room table, doors over here. Come back here, you sit down, listen, sit and wait. I go open the door, I go look outside. And he waits, and then I go, okay, and then I say, okay, that's the command to come on. It's working. Drill, practice, for her, same thing. You know, they're, they're really smart. They're, sometimes they can be stubborn, of course. So that's what's happening. And then the same will work for probably every single dog. You just got to do it. The more you do it, it's fun, because then they're, they're right with you like a person. You know, you can talk to them and give them the commands properly and not have to yell at them and stuff like that. So, you know, here we are five years later doing it all over again. You might do it forever. It's like practicing your guitar or your piano. No matter how good you are, you have to practice to warm up. Same with going out to work out, you know. You don't start pumping iron, you know, 500 pounds. You start out easy and you build it up and whatever. And same with your push-ups and everything else. Common sense stuff. So, um, some of the other things... Um, also, because the Akitas may bite uh, with, with children around, so children must be also taught to display leadership qualities and training at the same time and respect the dog. So, um, you know, how young the children can be for you to do that's up to, you know, you know how long how your kids understand English and so forth and what's, what to do. But with the right type of owner, the proper amount of daily mental and physical exercise and firm training, they can make a fine, fine pet. And uh, again, the obedience is anything else. Training, obedience training requires a lot of patience. Can't get upset. Just got to keep drill practice rehearse, focus. That's because this listen command, you know, if you don't have their attention looking around, nothing's going to happen until you get that happening. It's interesting. It works. That's just one of the things I'm sure there may be others. Um, so, because this dog uh, can get bored quickly, that patience is important in training. And it needs to be with its family. It vocalizes with many interesting sounds, but it may not be an excessive barker. Okay. And who is that? Now, the Akita. 
Al Nikita. Is massive, but in balance with his body and free wrinkles when he is at ease. His head forms a blunt triangle when viewed from above. It's a narrow or sniping head, and his muzzle is broad. That's Al Nikita, the American Nikita. Now there's a Japanese Nikita. As well, his tail is large and full set high and carried over his back. You might have to look up toward the nice sky. Stacy, doing May great. Thanks for asking. In his rear view mirror to see the rest of his pack as he's running after the deer. Al the Akita, Al the Akita, his color is brindle, has markings well balanced. I also notice that their legs are probably a lot longer than most chows. So the face does have that chow look. So between the tail and the longer legs, you uh, kind of identify the difference between those. Okay, so we covered the breed of the night Akita. Al the Akita had fun with that. And um, moving forward, I wanted to share, um, It's now we're shifting over to the, the wolf pack, the huskies. All Dog Network, brought to you by All Dog Net Worldwide All Dog Network, and that's alldognetwork.com. A lot of interesting music and videos and all kinds of things at wolftunes.com. Wolftunes.com is a redesigned site, and it's uh, working great, much better than it was, a lot more easy to navigate. You know, you want to continually make these things cleaner, sharper, more fun, more colorful, easier to navigate through, and everything is uh, organized and you just continually doing that with your internet technology uh, people is that's what the wolf driver does every day they're working on the sites because there's multiple sites to deal with here and um, it's getting there it's getting better and better every day and that's good it's a cute dog Stacy says yes they're very cute and y'all thanks for joining us and I hope you're sharing um, the experience here on uh, wolfdriver.com about the shows the live broadcast and the live things we have. We have no commercials, we have no politics. Just all about the love of dogs and things and information of how you can better be with your pet, take care of them, exercise them, walk them, whatever we talked about. Um, hope you all have downloaded Walk for a Dog app free. I love Husky Dogs, Chasey says. Good, we're gonna get into some stuff here in just a minute with uh, the Wolf Drivers Husky Pack. Show you him out doing some things with his dogs on a, another video called Fun and Run, I think. And um, use that Walk for a Dog app. It's free, Apple Store or uh, Android Store, whichever you have. Download it, set it up, self-explanatory. Every time you walk your dog or ride your dog or skateboard your dog or use the bike Springer, which, again, uh, is a great tool. This device here, I'm going to show you. This connects to the bike. And I've shown you Buster on it. I've shown you videos of how it works. This part here hooks around your your bar under your seat there's bolts there you bolt it on this cotter pin lets you take the whole thing out so that can stay on the bike it doesn't get in your way and when you want to use it you just put it back in put the cotter pack in hook up the dog right here to his harness little clip and ride him on the side of you okay it's just a wonderful thing for exercise without and you can go as fast or slow as you want on your bike and do your whole your whole regimen of exercise, um, so forth. It's pretty cool. I got three dogs myself. And you could run all three on Springers. You know, you could run two on each Springer, really. So you've got, you can even do three, maybe, on there. I mean, I'm, I can show you that Springer video again, um, which I should do. Um, let me find that for you here. Uh, it's good to see this, you know, because if you ever do get encouraged to uh, get one, why then? Um, 
is something to see here. Now here's here's a picture of one. Here's like I'm gonna show you. Here's two dogs. They almost look like huskies connected to the Springer. You see how that works? And they're totally safe. Totally safe. There's a Sheppy connected. See how that comes out? And when you turn, you wonder, well, how do they turn? Well, you, the dog's on whatever side you're on. In this case, they're on the driver's left. I'm oh, sorry, the driver's right. So when he turns to the left to turn around, say, make a U-turn, the dog will just follow on the outside. Okay. It's uh, pretty interesting stuff. Um, there's all kinds of pictures about it. Um, I like to go to... Um, For you, we'll show you the video. And then we're going to show you the wolf driver. Um, let's find this on uh, on uh, YouTube. Let's show this real quick. Um, now I'm just going to have to go to YouTube and do it. Bear with me, if you would. One moment. Get this up and uh, let's see. Well, I guess we just go to YouTube up here. Just bear with me just a moment, please. So tonight the Akita we've been talking about. Now we're going to run over to the uh, to the Huskies real quick here and. Uh, so if you have a big to medium large dog, I mean, you know, it's, uh, here's a husky on one here. Let me get this going for you. Biking ringer. Hi, Shinoki. Look, baby. We went to Taco Bell, and I can never eat the extra taco that comes with the meal. So Chinooky gets it. Where'd you go, Chinook? Chinooky. Let's see where Chinooky's going to go on the bike springer or not. Horses! This is how I taught my horse. Bonk it. You're Oh, this is not what I was thinking it was. Sorry. It was, <laughs> it was something else. This is the one I'm looking for. Uh, I, I guess it's not. I don't know what uh, that lady posted here but uh, this is how you might put this uh, call the canine athletes here I'm gonna do a little review for you on the uh, Springer America bike mount it uh, makes riding your dogs on the bicycle a lot safer and um, it works pretty good so I wanted to go through it now this bike mount here, it's a pretty simple idea. It comes with a clamp and you bolt it on with um, you know just a regular socket wrench and um, got a little clip here. It puts this arm in place. If you look here, you see the spring. This actually helps a lot when the dog pulls or wants to stop and you keep going it gives a lot of give which will keep you from perking and jerking and possibly flipping over which i've done before when i didn't have this uh, mount <clears throat> now the springer comes with a tiny plastic clip here that's made to break away if say you went when you're riding and you went through say a pole it would break away so that way the dog would release and you wouldn't crash well with our dogs we don't want our dogs getting loose so i had to make a little adjustment which is simple i just added a, a uh, snap here heavy duty spring loaded snap i attach it to my leash and we're good to go the dog's never going to get free from this so the dog's always going to be attached to me, so I don't have to worry about him running around loose, killing cows or anything. Like 
go about the uh, Springer and how that thing works. It's very cool. And that idea where he modified that uh, with a metal clip, I have not had to do that because Buster doesn't, I don't have a problem with him. Um, I have had him um, want to bolt sideways when another dog came out of nowhere out of a yard and scared him a little bit and it snapped off. And I was able to, I have, I have my leash around my handlebar too for double safety so he doesn't get away and you know attack that dog or whatever and they get into it so it's not going to happen very rare if it is and you know when I try when I see another somebody walking a dog and I'm riding him I just turn around and go the other way I don't go next to him or try to get near him and cause any commotion like that it's not worth it so the Springer is wonderful just to let you know okay so we're going to go over here and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, uh, this particular deal here. Uh, this is called Canine Running Fun with the Wolf Driver and his Wolf Pack. And this is Zar Zaro, the Z Man. He's the one who's the black and white one. The rest are pure white. Chase and Female Princess. Okay, here we go. We're going to watch this here.
canine running. That's what that one's about, okay? So, the wolf driver just uh, likes to share all this. Hey, my friend. Hi, Sue. Good to see you this evening. And uh, again, real quick, back to the breed of the night, in case you all miss, is the Akita. And there's an American, American Akita and a, a, what they call an Akita Inu, which is a Japanese Akita. And uh, that's what they look like. We uh, did that breed earlier. Talked about the breed of the night. We played the Diddy a couple of times. And uh, we talked about the Bike Springer. We talked about Walk for a Dog app. And um, again, the other thing is the shirts. And these shirts, my light's messed up. Okay, so these are the full blown sublinated shirt where we've taken our logo, okay? which is this, which you've seen all over the place, uh, hopefully on the wolfdriver.com. And created this shirt here. Now this is a full blood shirt, front and back, the one I have on. And these, we can have these done and they're gonna cost about $32. So if you want these, you can order these. If you want just um, the other Less expensive. It's probably be some, I'm, not, I'm gonna get the prices hopefully tomorrow. So I'm not gonna say anything because I don't know what they're gonna be for a regular nice white quality T-shirt with the logo on the front and on the back. And those will be, you know, hopefully a third of the price or whatever the case. We're gonna have to find out. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna order a bunch of them and have them available for y'all to purchase. Um, and so forth, and we're gonna have, we have an e-commerce uh, link site for paying, you know, the debit card, whatever, and all that stuff, and just like any, you know, buy something on Amazon or whatever the case. So I'm gonna be posting that uh, with the Wolf Driver tomorrow. We're getting together and figuring out um, the order we need to make. We've already had a request for, um, I think, some of the. Um, regular t-shirts with the logo because they're less expensive of course and especially for kids they're going to run around get them dirty whatever but uh since this one here is kind of like more of a souvenir like you would buy a you know a football jersey at a ball game of one of the players you know with the number on it or whatever or the name and you'd go hang it up put it behind glass or whatever or you could wear it i mean i wear mine i hand wash them rinse them out you know i'm not a dirty person so i don't worry about it but um thank you um, and they're lovely and plus they, they won't bleed and f I mean, fade and stuff like that you don't want to wash them in the washing machine with soap and all that you hand wash them with like uh, you know what do you call that stuff for the mild stuff you do sweaters can't think of the top of my head that stuff <laughs> um, just a little bit of that um, so that's that's how you take care of them this is called a vapor shirt that's the fabric it's called vapor a brand or something it's really nice really nice comfortable and fun so we're gonna have these going on and we've got some great surprises coming up uh, hopefully for the end of the year with something else we're doing musically with a something another and we already have the wolf axe which is over here and that's our baby here that we promote we promote our whole project about the huskies and the all dog network Y'all have seen the Wolf Axe. Um. Somebody wanted to hear a song. I think uh, one of the songs that uh, it's kind of an anthem song about love. Encouraging us to let our love flow. And I think we'll do that one tonight. We haven't done that in a couple of a long time. Let me uh let me get that up here. And uh we'll just kind of go through that a little bit. That's a fun song. If you want to hear a little something, you can see this guitar. I'm not sitting up high enough really to to see it as I'm playing, but you can see my hand over here. I'm gonna move this over a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Like this. Let's move this over. I can get the better picture of what's going on here. So, 
Now there's a reason for the sunshine day And there's a reason why I'm feeling so high Must be the season when that love light shines all around us So let that feeling grab you deep inside And send you reeling where their love can't hide And then go stealing through these summer nights with your lover, which could be your dog. Just let your love flow like a mountain stream. Let your love glow with the smallest of dreams. Let your love show, and you'll know what I mean. It's the season. Just let your love fly like a bird on a wing. Let your love bind you to all living things And let your love flow And you know what I mean, it's the reason Now there's a reason for these warm sweet nights There's a reason for the candle lights Must be the season when those love bright shine all around you Let that wonder take you deep in space. Hi, Mimi. Send you under this love and embrace. Feel the thunder as it warms your face. You can't hold back. No, you can't. Let your love flow like a mountain stream. Let your love grow with the smallest of dreams. And let your love flow. And you know what I mean. It's the season Let your love fly Just like a bird on a wing Let your love bind you With the smallest of things Let your love flow And you know what I mean It's the season Let your love flow let your love float into these puppies and your pooches and your lovers and your family and your kids. and You know what I mean? Just let it go. You know, forget about any negative stuff that's going on. Just let that love flow. And it works. And you get it back. Um, you definitely get it back from your dog. He's unbiased. He's unconditional more than anything else. He doesn't have to think about it. He knows. So that's the way I feel about that one. And that's, that song is just a great anthem song that was from the 70s by the Bellamy Brothers. One of those songs, you know, just one of those songs. So, uh, we're going to just uh, let you know. There's one more thing we want to remind you about, in case you're interested, and that's this uh, DNA testing. DNA testing for your dog, just so you know where you can find out about that. It's called wisdompanel.com. Wisdom panel one word w-i-s-d-o-m p-a-n-e-l wisdompanel.com mars veterinary it's a division of mars candies mars.com and they actually own the patent for uh, <clears throat> uh canine dna testing and it's a subsidiary of theirs uh, business they run and um I think the demand for that has gone sky high because we did it five years ago with Buster. And uh, what you do is you go to the site there, wisdompanel.com, and um, you see what they have. It's a four-step deal. You sign up, you pay them the money. I think when we did it five years ago, it was $69.95. Now it's like $84.99 or $80.90 or something. But you pay them. They send you a kit, a swab kit. These long swab, you know, little Q-tippy things. You put them in the jaw of your your dog, get the swab, saliva, put it back in the sealed package. It's all sterilized. And you send it back in the mail. And then they uh, put you through the process uh, steps. And then they'll email you with your email. And can, they keep you up on the process. It's in 
it's in testing, it's in testing, it could take two, three weeks, whatever, mine took like uh, three weeks or so. Then you know, all of a sudden you get an email that says, hey, your results are ready, go to step four, here you can download it and print it out, and you get something like this. Is it not, not something like this, exactly what you get. Now that looks backwards, so what I'm going to do, so you can see it, I'm going to put the camera on it, hope you can see it like this. Okay. Wisdom Panel Insights. And uh, what breed makes up Buster? So you can see that the family tree there, well, it's, he's 50% Shepherd from the grandparent line all the way up. You can read that. Great grandparents. Grandparents were Shepherds. And then uh, down here, German Shepherd Dog Mix, Buster. A little tag and the other half great grandparents was a cane corso grandparents cane corso and parents cane corso so he's 50 50 german shepherd dog mix crossed with cane corso now as they go through the testing it if you read here you can see this okay just to show you Wisdom Panel Insights, a computer algorithm performed over 7 million calculations using 11 different models from a, from a single breed to complex combinations of breeds to predict the most likely combination of pure and mixed breed dogs in the last three ancestral generations that best fit the DNA marker pattern observed in Buster. The ancestry chart, depending on uh, the best statistical result of this analysis is shown in the picture below, which I just showed you. Okay, so cool, so cool. Then, if he had anything else in there, they show you the percentages of what they found. And what does it says, well, then what does the mixed breed ancestor mean for my dog? It means we have identified for your dog the five next best breed matches in which appeared in the analysis of the dog's DNA. So there are minuscule amounts of, in this case, he had Carrier blue, Carrier blue Terrier was in there somewhere at about 13.5% genetic. American Bulldog was uh, about 7.86%. Then the Belgian Malinois, which kind of looks a little like that, his face, 6.22. And the Neapolitan Mastiff, which is like a small cane corso, really, 6.09%. And then finally a staff. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, which, you see that white marking on his chest? Well, he's got that. Buster has that white marking. Uh, that also can come from a cane core, so it's 4.28%. So that's how it works, okay? And then there's a couple more pages that tell you, okay, there's the cane corso, what he looks like, and Buster definitely has the that look of it, the soft, flappy ears, very strong. He doesn't have a dock tail, thank goodness. And then the shepherd is the other half. There's the shepherd, which he's got his brindle in there and all that kind of thing. He's more of the black shepherd. Okay. Now, then they show you pictures and they ask you, does your dog look like any of these? Well, side face does. Front face kind of looks a lot like that, only he's, he's brindle and dark. That definitely looks like him in the white chest triangle. His isn't quite that big, but he's got that on there. That's that mixed cane corso look. This kind of looks like his muzzle, his mug. And this definitely, it's got a little bit of him in there. So, again, there's what you get on that analysis. Um, and I can show you... Um, Buster here, if I can get this going here in just a second. Let me see if this will work real quick, what he looks like. See, there's Buster. As you can kind of see, 
what's going on there. Okay. That's how that thing works, that DNA testing. And it's, uh, again, you know, if you, you want to just curious, want to know the details like that, to the nth degree, the best possible testing they can do, um, so you know what you have, if you have a mixed breed, it's, it's just a fun thing to do if you can afford something like that, just to have that. Uh, you know, a lot of people, even the vet, my vet didn't know, I've told you this before, he thought, he, oh, he's got some Doberman, he's got some Rottweiler, he must be that, he must be Boxer. None of that. None of those three, really, at all. It's just a guessing, and he's a master vet. So we said, we're going to do a DNA testing. How do you do that? And I looked it up, found it, and uh, very happy we did. Because there's other things, you know, you do the traits, some, they're prone to certain things, you don't know, health-wise, food allergies, plant allergies, who knows. It just helps you keep an eye on everything that you might want to know, especially if you have a condition going on. You don't go, why is he itching? Why is he doing this? Why is he digging holes in the garden? It's just cool stuff. It's just cool stuff, okay? So I just stress that information just so it's out there. So you got the walk for a dog app. You got DNA testing. You got the bike springer for exercise. All these things are just fun things to have. And we've got great music and tunes about all our dogs. So... We're going to leave it at that tonight. Um, I hope you had a good night tonight. And uh, one more time for the Akita. And uh, we're going to take one more look at the Akita, which is our breed of the night. Um, this guy here. There was one in here I wanted to show you again. That This one here is just absolutely magnificent. And because he's got the black mask, look at that gorgeous guy. Black mask means he's an American Akita. He's not a Japanese Inu. Inu. Okay. So let me play that ditty one more time. And we're going to head on out of here. And then tomorrow will be Thursday. This is uh, Al the Akita. Al the Akita is massive, but he's not the Akita is a very sweet uh, boy that's an interesting looking one there huh look at that tail how it wraps around over the back that's one of their biggest traits that you recognize them for example from a chow good night thanks for showing us all these different dogs Debbie you're welcome we're gonna keep it rolling tomorrow night I'm not sure what the breed is pretty much pretty much pretty sh not done with all the pure breeds yet but uh, we're, we're gonna just have fun with them they're all a little different, then there's all similarities there. We, we get real familiar with these things. And, um, you know, it's funny, the more I go out and run around in places and see dogs, you know, uh, they become more recognizable to what breed or complex breed they may be just because having done the show and going through them, they, I recognize them a lot more than I normally would and go, well, what's that, you know? So just, it's more education. It's just kind of cool for me, at least. And, you know, people love dogs, you know? Um, last night I went uh, out with some guys to have something to eat up in Orange and we're walking back to the to the house and it was a walk from downtown Orange at the district there with some great places and it's this little pe the couple walking this little pug and he's got a from his collar kind of pointed down like a headlight this little real bright LED light so he could see where he's walking. 
and make it, it kind of help them walk down the dark sidewalk as well. The, the dog is hanging down this flashlight. Not a flashlight, it was like a bulb. Very cool thing, just hanging there. Big bright light, so the, the dog's kind of watching it, like so he can see where he's going. It's kind of cool, not that they can't see in the dark, but you know, stuff like that. And then I looked at him and said, that's a little pug. It was kind of a dark, blackish gray, cute little guy, okay? Has a little flashlight with him. It was, it was just, just neat stuff, you know, that people do. And they, you could tell they just love their little dog. You could just, they treat him like that, okay? It's all good. Y'all have a great night, and we're going to jump and jam right out of here. Um, so happy to have you aboard. Again, if you'd please share. Uh, tomorrow night, hopefully, I'll have the answer on the T-shirts as far as the pricing, and we'll have our e-commerce uh, link and make these things affordable, and y'all start spread the word on the shirts and then uh, pretty soon we're going to have a big surprise of something that everybody's going to be able to do musically, believe it or not and play some music with your dogs, for your dogs or just for yourself and it's all going to be about the promotion of the, the wolf hounds all hounds the wolves, the wolf pooches okay, I'm going to keep that a surprise Laura just came in, what is that? Um, you talk about the breed that would be an Akita, Akita, and we're signing off now. So if you want to go back and watch the show, that'd be great. We've kind of uh, spent our hour. We don't like to stay on much longer than that because of the Facebook streaming thing. We like to keep within the means of, so we're always be able to be here. And they don't like slice us off because we're taking too much of their time and their server. But we're just having a great time. Things are going well, and uh, hope to all see you tomorrow night. Until then, you have a great day. Keep that fresh water for your dogs. Keep them healthy, exercise them, give them lots of love and hugs. Okay? Y'all, good night from the Whoop Diddy. <laughs>